if you met someone and they were saying, you know, I've been having trouble, like I've never been able to smell or I'm having trouble smelling, you don't really know that anosmia is a thing. So in a lot of cases, people either assume that it's not a real problem, that it's temporary, or that it's not a real thing. About three years ago, I had a pretty bad sinus infection. It lasted about two weeks, and after most of the symptoms had resolved, I realized I couldn't smell. Our senses are the keys which opens various doors of our life and helps us to experience and communicate with the outer world. Each of these five senses adds a completely new dimension to our overall existence and drives us to explore and connect with our immediate surrounding. And if any of these senses goes missing, it not only impacts our overall perception but also forces us to identify with a very different and challenging world. A world which exists within each one of us, yet at times we fail to understand and acknowledge it. And one such world is Anosmia. Anosmia is a disorder in which people lack or lose their complete sense of smell. Most of us might not have even heard this word or would have hardly ever met anyone having this condition. Yet millions and millions of people across the world live with this, which they think very few of us understand. My name is Casey and I am anosmic. Hi, my name is Chris Hendricks and I have congenital anosmia. I have what's called congenital anosmia, um, which just means that I was born without the sense of smell, and there's not anything that you can really do for it. I happen to think smell is overrated. I happen to have an expert opinion about this because I was born without the ability to smell. Experts believe that importance of smell is often overlooked because we can't see it, and so we don't understand it or talk about it. Smell is in the air and present everywhere. Thus, it so much becomes a part of our life that we not only start taking it for granted, but also fail to understand and accept its impact. It's hard to believe but we tend to associate our sense of smell more with the unwanted and awful smelling stuffs. Smells which are categorized as bad and unpleasant and when exposed for longer duration of time, it might give headache and make us sick. However, smell is not only limited to these discouraging ones, but is actually more complex. We not only fail to understand its loss, but to great extent are oblivious to its existence altogether. I personally have never understood the sentiment of I can't wait to get home and crack open a coldie because to me every single wine and every single beer tastes exactly the same and it tastes like liquid deodorant. Losing sense of smell certainly impacts our eating and drinking habit to a great extent. Smell is involved a lot in the enjoyment of food um, that I definitely don't 
have, but I still, I rely a lot on the texture of foods. Um, I still can taste, I, I know spicy, I know sweet, I know salty. What we eat and think of it as our taste is to a great extent our smell. Our sense of taste helps us to determine whether the food is sweet, salty, bitter, sour or umami. And together with texture and temperature, it contributes to only 20-25% to to the overall flavor of the food. And rest all is smell. If you gave me two different types of tea, which is basically just hot water with some smells in it, I literally could not tell you the difference. Same goes with different types of sauce, different types of lolly flavors, anything that is subtle or is based on smell, I cannot tell you the difference. Our sense of smell helps us to make a connection between the food and its flavor and save it in our memory. Thus, whenever we smell that item next time, the flavor comes alive. And this doesn't happen only when we eat something, but also when it is being prepared or served. The taste of jelly beans is entirely based on its smell. To other people, this is full of 20 flavors of jelly beans. To me, it only has one. Apart from food and drinks, our sense of smell surprisingly has a huge impact on our emotions and memories. All the incoming smells are processed by the olfactory bulb which runs along the bottom of the brain and is connected to our limbic system. More precisely, it is connected to amygdala which is involved with our emotions and hippocampus which plays a huge role in the consolidation of information available from our memories. Smell has the power to instantly transport us back in time and remind us of something very familiar. Even newborn babies are believed to recognize their mother by the smell of their breast milk. I wish I could smell like body odor, which sounds gross. Like I wish I could sm smell myself so that I know if I smell bad. And the truth is that I can't tell that I don't smell bad. I can't. I'd genuinely love to know when it is that I smell bad or good or how to change either of those two things. Not able to smell themselves or their partners, people with anosmia does feel the impact in the intimacy and love making. Hi everyone, my name is Chrissy Kelly and I am the founder of Absent. Uh, Absent is a charity registered in England and Wales and we exist to help people with um, who have lost their sense of smell. I'm making uh, this video today because there's been we've had a lot of new members in our Facebook group who have come in reporting that they've lost their sense of smell after they had the coronavirus. This is obviously a very worrying uh, development. I was so angry and really, really frustrated because so few people actually understand what this is like. 
there's a couple trials going on, one that I'm actually a part of through um, a research place called Manel, and um, I had to do like another scratch and sniff test and swab and all this stuff and send pictures of my MRIs because um, they just got enough funding to do more testing. Brain actually came as a surprise to me. Uh, there are some things that I've had to wait until I've become an adult to actually find out that they had a smell. And rain was one of those things. Um, I just didn't expect that. It's water falling from the sky. Water seems like something that shouldn't have an odor. Why does rain have an odor? For myself and from what I've heard from a lot of other people that have lost all or part of their sense of smell and taste is that it's extremely frustrating because much of the world, including the medical profession, just doesn't get it. Our sense of smell not only helps us to make a conscious decision of what and where we choose to eat, but it also acts as a medium through which we interact with the outer world. Right from everything that is there around us and the things that we do in our daily life to the places we choose to visit and the everyday stuffs that we buy, smell remains an integral part of our overall existence. Have you ever imagined, I'm sure you haven't, but have you ever imagined what it would be like if you couldn't smell? Imagine the life you would have if all of a sudden your smells went away. What would you miss the most? The smallest of choices in our life is so much dependent on our sense of smell. Still, the huge role that it plays often becomes apparent only when it is gone.